I've done SEO for small e-commerce businesses. I've done SEO for enterprise size e-commerce businesses worth millions of pounds. And I've even had the opportunity to do SEO for a multi-billion dollar e-commerce business. And in this video, I'll be showing you how your small e-commerce business can compete with the big boys like Amazon, Etsy, Nike, and the list goes on. And no, there's not going to be any generic advice in here, like increase your page speed and create great content. And I'm not going to be mentioning AI in here to make you think that I've got some cutting edge tactic. This is going to be good old classic SEO tactics. And if you stay till the end of this video, I'll be revealing my blue ocean strategy and will help massively increase the buyer traffic you receive and get you that traffic boner you want so badly. Don't worry, I'll help you fix that dysfunction you've been having. Hey, big boy. Hey, how you doing? You see? Right. First and foremost, take advantage of the traffic you're currently receiving. After all, you don't have a lot of resources to use, so you want to squeeze as much as you can from every single visitor that goes on your website. Here are nine simple ways to boost conversions. Number one, include lots of images of your product. People want to understand exactly what they're buying, so make sure you have every single angle of your product. Number two, when an image is clicked on the product page, don't allow the image to open up in a new tab. You want to keep the user's attention on the product page and only the product page. Instead, you can add a zoom in feature. So when the customer hovers over the image, it'll zoom right in. Number three, keep image files small. After doing SEO for almost eight years now, I found that the most common reason for a slow loading page is the image files are way too big. If you're on WordPress, you can just use a plugin like Smush to reduce your image file sizes. And to see your image file sizes, just download the Easy SEO extension and go to the Images tab. According to a study done by Bidnamic, every second a page loads faster, you'll get a 17% increased conversion rate. Number four, include shipping information. When you're considering making a purchase, you're probably wondering how long it's going to take for the item to arrive. Well, your customer thinks the exact same way. So include a shipping information and make sure it's displayed clearly. Number five, clear contact support details. This could be as simple as a link in the menu, a chat feature, or including the support email within the product description. You're letting users know it's easy for them to get in touch with you in case something goes wrong or if they have any questions. Number six, include reviews. Now, this is a bit of an obvious one, but I wanted to include this anyway to make sure I'm being as thorough as possible. Make sure there's an easy way for customers to leave you a review. However, there's one big problem with this. It's extremely difficult to get reviews for every single product you have on your website. So to combat this, you can just include general testimonials about your business if you don't have any reviews for a product. Number seven, improve your copy by stressing the benefit of your product. A feature is a technical specification and a benefit is what the user will get out of that feature. People only care about what's going to benefit them. So make sure to let them know. For example, let's say you're selling jumpers. A feature would be the jumper is made from cotton and the benefit would be it keeps you cozy, warm and makes you feel like you want to cuddle up with a good book. Number eight, answer the objections your customer may have. Our research found people who bought this Dragon Ball set would have problems with the stickers peeling off and they're not being an exact replica. So to combat this we made sure the copy told readers nothing would peel off and included an image of someone holding the replica version so they understand the size better. Number nine, make sure your images are high quality. I constantly stumble upon sites that have pixelated images and this really hurts their credibility. Next, you want to capture the traffic you're currently receiving. We're sticking with the theme of squeezing as much as we can out of a visitor. And another way to do this is by getting that email. There are lots of ways of getting a visitor to give you their email. Here are two effective email capturing methods that work really well. Use a lead magnet. A lead magnet is a piece of information you give away in exchange for the visitor's email address. For example, let's say you run a bodybuilding supplement e-commerce business. A lead magnet could be a PDF for how to increase your bench press. You could then use a simple pop-up to show this to your visitors. However, to stop the pop-up from being annoying, only allow it to display after 30 seconds. And don't allow it to display on your category and product pages. Use a cart abandonment campaign. Have you ever been checking out, typed your email in, X out of the page, and then received an email about your product waiting for you? 
That's called a cart abandonment email campaign. Your user was in the middle of making a purchase with you, but they decided to click off. This could have been because they got distracted. Maybe they wanted to carry on shopping or maybe they just didn't like the shipping price. Whatever the reason, they were on the cusp of making a purchase with you. And sending an email reminder to them is an easy way to get them back on a page. And not everyone will carry on that purchase, but a certain portion will. Here's the blue ocean strategy I promised you at the beginning of my video. And this would pair great with my next strategy. Category pages are the most profitable for your e-commerce business. However, they're also the most competitive. Trying to rank your small e-commerce business for those big category terms is a really tough front door strategy. So instead, you want to take the back door approach. What I'm talking about here is creating blog posts targeting the best X for Y keywords. Now stick with me here because I developed my own keyword tool because this method works so well. So you're going to open up Keyword King. You'll need an API key in order to get the all entitled results. Just use the $1 trial. You're then going to take your product type and use it in the best X for Y example. Let's stick with the bodybuilding supplement example. They want to sell more of the pre-workout supplements. I'm going to type in best pre-workout for and then tick A to Z as well as the location. And then I'm going to hit the search button. All the data you see comes directly from Google Autocomplete. So you know every keyword you're seeing here has search volume. Now you're going to select the all in title result button. This is going to help us determine the keyword difficulty. Now I know some SEOs are going to say, oh my God, that's such an outdated method. Well, it's only outdated if you don't know how to adapt that strategy to the current times. Now, after our all entitled results have finished generating, we're going to export it to CSV and open it in a spreadsheet. Now, once you put it in the spreadsheet, what you can do to make things easier is highlight the top part, go to format, sorry, go to view, freeze, and then one row. And what we're going to do is sort the all entitled column to A to Z. And let's take a look at what we can find here. So let's go for best pre-workout for glute growth. Okay, if we take a look here, we've got one website showing up and it's a medium result. So it looks like we'd be able to go on the first page. Pretty standard. Um, it can definitely use images and it needs to be improved. Now, four best supplements for glute growth. Five best creating supplements for glute growth. Well, guess what? That's telling us no one's targeting this keyword except from this page and just one page on the internet it appears that is targeting this keyword so that's a fantastic sign so let's take a look at another one best pre-workout for daily use okay let's take a look best pre-workouts of 2024 best pre-workout supplements uk 19 best pre-workouts according to phd it doesn't look like it's going for daily use so let's make sure to confirm that so let's type in daily. Nope, nothing comes up. What about a synonym like every day? Nope. So let's take a look at the second result. Again, let's go for daily. And it just says recommended daily dose. Every day. Nope. So immediately already spotted two very easy keywords to target and they're commercially related. This is an amazing way to build up a load of commercial traffic, people who really want to buy your product. Now, if you want to take your SEO to a completely different level and want to rank client sites as well as your own sites, pay attention. I'd highly recommend a one-on-one -on -one SEO consultation with myself. The feedback I've been receiving from my consultation clients have been overwhelmingly positive. Thank you so much. <laughs> Having just a one hour call with myself will take you to a completely different level when it comes to SEO. And I can guarantee you that. Now you're going to optimize your product pages for their long tail variations. Let's say you have a chocolate vegan protein powder you're trying to rank. Your chances of ranking that page are slim because of the stiff competition. So you're going to see if you can add any long tail variation. Simply use the star symbol behind, in front and in between words. 
This will generate keywords the users are searching. You're simply going to note down any keywords that apply to you. Pro tip. You can look at the Google ad results to get title ideas. These businesses have spent a lot of money testing out titles which work best. So why not use the hard work? After you've got some title ideas from looking at the Google ads and you've got some keywords that you found, you're going to craft your title. Use the easy SEO extension to make sure you don't go over the word or pixel count. Here's another pro tip. Make sure your H1 tag and meta title are the same. Google will sometimes replace the meta title you made for one of their own ones, and this can really hurt your click-through rate. One simple way to prevent this is by simply keeping your H1 tag and meta title the same. Oh man, I'm so tired. Back's hurting. Oh man. All right, what's the next thing I'm going to say?